This is a tutorial for the interface to Bridge Captain. In this game, you are the captain of an Earth United vessel in search of a missing diplomatic ship. As captain, your bridge consists of five main parts two computer consoles, your main viewing screen, which is currently on tactical right now, a diagnostic panel of your ship, and a quick target panel of anything you have targeted. The interface is broken down into six main categories. Uh, captain, where you get your missions, weapons, where you fight, engineering, where you do your repairs and reroute power, navigation, uh, where you plot a course or manually steer your ship, communications, where you hail other ships and planets, and your computer, where you can scan ships, planets, as well as view logs. When the game starts, you will already be presented with a message from the Earth United Command. To view the message, press Communications, then press Message. Uh, you, w you can reply to the commander by choosing uh, the answer and then hitting the Reply button. Notice the missing changes. Now let's pick a, a ship to fly to. To do that, we click navigation, click ships. Uh, you can scroll to whatever ship you want to fly to. Uh, the blue ones are friendlies, the red ones are enemies, but they're just enemies to the Earth United. They're not necessarily going to shoot you or anything. They're just more like pirates or something. Uh, so let's go to the Hercules. So. Notice that now that I've selected the ship, the target panel lights up, and I can either click travel here or here. So now I'm going to travel to the Hercules. Notice there's a little arrow that indicates the location, and the map shows me where to go, where I'm going. On the map, I can also show the names of the ships, the names of the planets, uh, or nothing at all. Uh, <coughs> now that I've reached the Hercules, I'm in range of weapons, uh, communications, and I can even scan them. I can also do the same with the buttons down here. Now, scanning this ship, you'll see that it's a fueling ship. I can put them on screen. I can... Uh, talk to them by hailing them. Uh, notice that uh, this menu here shows you uh, the ships that are in range and orders them by distance. Um <coughs> Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the ship on manual drive. So you go to impulse and I could just fly the ship around. Notice the arrow comes back to show me what I have targeted. Uh, now let's attack the Hercules. First click the red alert button. What that does is it puts you in weapons mode, turns your weapons on, it puts your shields up, and readies you for attack. Uh, you can go to your logs to view the battle logs uh, by clicking computer and then log. Now uh, to fire you just select uh, which weapon you want to fire. The Hercules is already on my weapons target so that's what I'm going to shoot at. I can aim uh, at their weapons to disable their weapons, their communications, or the engines. I can disable their engines or communications. Uh, but if you don't have anything selected, then you're just shooting their hull and, and whatnot. So I'm going to shoot them with some torpedoes. Notice they don't like that. I can go to navigation, put it on auto, and what this is going to do is it's going to pilot my ship for me so that I can keep shooting them while my ship tries to evade them.
Alright, so I just destroyed the Hercules. Notice nothing's on target anymore. Uh, I can go back to condition green. So now my shields are inactive, and, uh, and my, or my weapons are inactive, my shields are down. If I go to engineering, I can repair any damage. So uh, the Hercules did some damage to my shields. And so I just hit the repair button, some damage to the hull. Uh, now, <coughs> these sliders here uh, give me the ability to, to balance the engine or the power throughout the ship. So here's your power that's been used. So if I take away all the engine power, then uh, no power has been used. So uh, I can add it all to weapons or shields or some to shields, some to weapons, and some to engines. Uh, by switching to yellow alert, you'll notice that these uh, sliders already changed for you. Go back to green alert. So it already tries to put it into an optimal setting. Uh, so like red alert puts shields and weapons up higher where the engines are down lower. Um, <coughs> Well, thanks for watching this tutorial, and I hope it helps you play Bridge Commander more efficiently.